chunk of ice the size of a house falls into the sea, creating a massive tsunami of snow and ice. The people in this boat are risking their lives to witness nature's fury. Here are 15 shocking ice breakoffs. Number 15, Iceberg B-15. In late March of the year 2000, the largest iceberg breakoff in history was recorded. The iceberg B-15 calved from the Ross Ice Shelf located in Antarctica, and it measured around 183 miles long, with a total area of over 4,200 square miles. Over time, the B-15 drifted to South Georgia Island and broke into smaller pieces. 20 years later, most of the fragments have already melted away, and scientists await the iceberg's final journey before it vanishes completely. Number 14. Iceberg A-68 One of the largest icebergs in the world, Iceberg A-68, weighing 1 trillion tons, broke off in July 2017. The A-68 was twice the size of Luxembourg, with a total area spanning over 2,240 square miles, and was part of the Larsen Ice Shelf, located in Antarctica. Detailed images were captured and later uploaded by NASA's Landsat 8 satellite. The scientists believe the calving was simply due to natural growth and decay of the glacier cycle. Number 13. Peterman Glacier On August 5, 2010, the largest Arctic iceberg breakoff was documented by NASA satellite images. An enormous chunk of ice, which ran approximately 97 square miles in size, broke off the Peterman Glacier, located in Greenland. The event was captured by NASA's Terra satellite, and the images were uploaded on the internet the same day. While some blame global warming and environmental changes, ice calvings are a natural process that occur when glaciers grow from new snow. Number 12. Iceberg C-19 the iceberg scientists had been watching since the 1980s finally broke off in May of 2002. The iceberg C-19 was part of the Ross Ice Shelf before the 2,100-square-mile iceberg finally calved off. Images of the glacier were documented by NASA's Terra satellite, and it was revealed that the C-19 blocked sea ice movement, which causes an unusual buildup in the waters. The ice was so thick, multiple ice-breaking ships had to be sent out to correct the situation. Iceberg B-9 The Iceberg B-9 is one of the longest icebergs ever recorded. At 96 miles long and with a total area of 2,000 square miles, the iceberg broke off in 1987. What makes this event so interesting is how 13 years later, the B-15 calved off immediately west of the B-9. Years after the original calving, the B-9 broke into multiple large pieces and traveled over 1,300 miles. And as of 2018, remains in the Commonwealth Bay. Number 10. Ward Hunt Ice Shelf In the summer of 2002, a graduate student discovered that the biggest ice shelf in the Arctic was breaking apart. Located on Ellesmere Island in northern Canada, the Ward Hunt Ice Shelf originally started to break off in the early 1900s, until it finally stabilized in the early 1980s, so the discovery that revealed a large crack in the ice was truly shocking. In April 2000, satellite images were released, and by 2002, the ice shelf had completely separated in two. What followed the Ward Hunt ice shelf calving and fracture is what made this event even worse and unpredictable. When the ice shelf broke off, it released a gigantic pool of fresh water that floated on denser ocean water. The Epis Shelf Lake, located in Disraeli Fjord, was host to a rare ecosystem, and due to the iceberg, spilled more than 3 billion cubic meters of fresh water into the Arctic Ocean. Number 9. D-28 An iceberg twice the size of New York City, known as the D-28, broke off from Amory Ice Shelf, located in Antarctica. The giant iceberg was calved off on September 26 of 2019, and it weighed around 315 billion tons. The D-28 ran about 600 square miles and was captured by the EU satellite images. The Amory Ice Shelf is the third biggest in Antarctica, and scientists have been following it since the 1960s. The calved part of the Amory Ice Shelf, called Loose Tooth, was closely watched and monitored by glaciologists for over 20 years. Ice was thought to be precariously attached and scientists knew the 2019 breaking off would happen eventually. Helen Amanda Fricker, a glaciologist and professor at Scripps Institution of Oceanography, has stated that the event was predicted to happen between 2010 and 2015. I'm excited to see this calving event after all these years, she said. Number 8. B-31 In November of 2013, an iceberg known as B-31 broke off from Antarctica's Pine Island Glacier. 
It was over 240 square miles and was approximately six times the size of New York City's Manhattan Island. After the initial calving, the massive iceberg soon began to break down into smaller fragments and was pulled away into the Edmundson Sea. The first images of the B-31 were captured by NASA's Aqua satellite following the Southern Hemisphere winter. When Southern winter fell in May 2014, darkness spread across the Southern Hemisphere and the iceberg could not be seen for six months. Pine Island Glacier itself has been monitored for several decades. Scientists all over the world are interested in the fate of this glacier as it's been thinning and draining very fast and is thought to be one of the largest contributors to sea level rise. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 7. B-17B The giant iceberg known as the B-17B calved off the Ross Ice Shelf in 1999. The iceberg was the size of Paris and measured approximately 54 square miles. NASA and the European Space Agency have been following and tracking the iceberg's journey and the first satellite images were released in December of 2009. According to scientists and glaciologists, the iceberg had already shrunk in size with smaller pieces calving off from the B-17B. As of 2009, the giant iceberg has been traveling on a path towards Western Australia. The B-17B managed to stay intact and to retain its original size by acting as a self-preservation mechanism. It has been in contact with relatively cold water for much of its journey, before its draft track took the B-17B across from the cold Antarctic waters to much warmer waters. Number 6. Larsen B Ice Shelf in 2002, during the Southern Hemisphere summer, scientists who were monitoring daily satellite images of the Antarctic Peninsula were quickly left in amazement. They watched as the entire Larsen B ice shelf collapsed and split in just one month. Glaciologists have never witnessed such a large collapse so quickly. Over 1,250 square miles of ice disintegrated from January to March of 2002. As this event was unusual by past standards, professional researchers and scientists quickly put the blame on climate change and global warming. The Larsen B shelf was named a hotspot of global warming, and that's why it took around three weeks for the ice shelf to break off. But other factors also contributed to the rapid disintegration. Warm ocean temperatures in the Weddell Sea occurred during the same period might have caused thinning and melting of the underside of the ice shelf. Based on studies of the ice flow and the thickness of the ice shelf, Scientists believe that the Larsen Ice Shelf had existed for over 400 years prior to this event. But Larsen B wasn't the first glacier to break off. The first Larsen A Ice Shelf disintegrated in January of 1995, and over 20 years later, the Larsen C, or the Iceberg A68, broke off in 2017. But we've already covered that, remember? Number 5. The Ailes Ice Shelf in August of 2015, the Ailes Ice Shelf located in Ellesmere Island in northern Canada started to break off and form a giant ice island. It is believed to be the largest shelf breakup in Canada over 40 years. The newly formed island was approximately 25 square miles and was first detected when the Canadian Ice Service was reviewing satellite images of the island. The same day, NASA's Terra satellite captured images of the ice shelf. The event was linked to global warming, as years 2002 through 2005 showed us unusually warm climates in the Arctic, which caused a strong decline in overall sea ice. According to scientists, the Ellesmere Island had already lost 90% of its ice shelves. And while the theory of human-caused global warming can't fully be proven, the rapidly growing temperatures in the Arctic dictates otherwise. But what makes the Ailes Ice Shelf calving so remarkable? The answer is the speed at which it broke off. It was recorded to break free in less than an hour. Number 4. A38 The filchner ron Ice Shelf is an Antarctic ice shelf that borders the Weddell Sea. In 1998, what is now known as the A38 split from the ice shelf, and is thought to be the largest iceberg that has ever been observed in a decade, spanning over more than 90 miles. The iceberg later started to split and divide into three parts. The A38B was originally part of the massive A38 iceberg and was first captured by satellites in October of 1998. As scientists and glaciologists follow the iceberg's journey for many years, they noticed that a piece had drifted around South Georgia Island. In April 2004, the A38B iceberg split in half. The split was recorded in a series of moderate resolution imaging spectral radiometer images, also known as the MODIS images. The images show just how quickly the pieces started to separate and travel in their own paths. Number 3. Spencer Glacier 
If anyone wants to take a look at a glacier close up, they can visit the Spencer Glacier in Alaska. The iceberg rises to 3,500 feet and offers guided and unguided hiking tours. You can take a tour by boat, a kayak, or you can simply hike alongside with your friends down the lakeside trail. Visitors must first float across Spencer Lake to get up close to the icebergs, where panoramic views of Spencer Glacier can be seen. Next, they can enjoy a four-mile hike along the lakeside trail with trained professionals and tour guides that offer quick lessons about history and glaciology. Finally, visitors all over the world can take a two-mile kayaking trip down along the icebergs. The whole tour takes around six hours to complete and visitors can arrive and depart by train. The video was posted to YouTube on August 13, 2019, where a piece of Spencer Glacier breaks off. This video offers an incredible point of view as the visitors who are kayaking capture every moment of the 50-foot ice calving. From the initial break-off to the aftermath the iceberg produced, these visitors witnessed how the impact of the iceberg produced 12-foot high waves. The visitors describe how they were hit with the chunks of flying ice and buckets of water. They even admitted they were lucky to be alive, as this experience might have ended tragically for the kayaking tourists. But instead, they captured one of the rarest points of view of an ice calving. Number 2. Brunt Ice Shelf Bordering the coastland of Antarctica is the Brunt Ice Shelf that is inevitable to break off sooner or later. Back in January of 2019, cracks in the ice were captured by the Landsat 8 and Operational Land Imager satellites. The first crack appeared in late October of 2016 and has been named the Halloween Crack. The iceberg that will eventually break off will be twice the size of New York City, located west of the McDonnell Ice Rumples. Scientists confirmed the crack recently started to accelerate as fast as 4 kilometers every year. When the crack cuts all the way across, the area of ice lost from the shelf will likely be at least 660 square miles, and it might be the biggest iceberg to break from the Brunt Ice Shelf. Joe McGregor, a glaciologist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, commented about the upcoming calving event. The near-term future of Brunt Ice Shelf likely depends on where the existing rifts merge relative to the McDonald Ice Rumples. If they merge upstream, south of the McDonald Ice Rumples, then it's possible that the ice shelf will be destabilized. But the break itself may be harmful to hundreds of people who operate nearby. All year long, researchers at the British Antarctica Survey's Halley Station work on the shelf. Chris Schumann, a NASA glaciologist, commented about how the Brunt Ice Shelf calving may be a cause of concern. The likely future loss of the ice on the other side of the Halloween crack suggests that more instability is possible, with associated risk to Halley. Honorable Mentions and now for the honorable mentions, let's take a look at remarkable and memorable icebergs that have not shown any signs of deteriorating just yet. Inarsuit Iceberg Inarsuit is a small island village located in northwest Greenland. In July of 2018, headlines all over the world were made when an iceberg weighing more than 10 million tons decided to park itself just offshore of the village. Residents of the Inarsuit Island were warned by the authorities that the 300-foot-high iceberg could cause a massive flood. Search and rescue helicopters were set close to the remote village that offered a way out to its 180 inhabitants. As it was unusual for large icebergs to come so close to the village, residents were extremely shocked to find out how big this iceberg truly was. William Koglin, a researcher at the Geological Survey of Denmark and Greenland, has stated that iceberg production in Greenland has been increasing in the past 100 years as climate change has become stronger. Soon after its initial appearances, cracks and holes started to appear which could one day lead to a catastrophic calving that could flood the entire village in a matter of minutes. Two-minute video footage was posted on YouTube that showed a small chunk of ice breaking from the iceberg that sent waves rippling through the harbor. But luckily, the iceberg that threatened the whole village has now since moved on. Time-lapse footage shows how the iceberg travels slowly and departs itself from the Inarsuit village of Greenland. The inhabitants were more than happy to see the hazardous iceberg travel away, as most had evacuated their homes in order to stay safe. The Tallest Iceberg As we've already covered numerous enormous icebergs, you might be thinking to yourself, what is the tallest iceberg in the world? According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the tallest iceberg captured was located in the North Atlantic. The iceberg towers a shocking 550 feet high, and it extends out to the water almost to the height of the Washington Monument. As it is characteristic for 85% of the iceberg's volume to be below sea levels, it comes as a surprise to witness such a high level of the iceberg above the sea level. The tallest known iceberg was first captured in the early 1950s and was later sighted in Melville Bay, Greenland. 
And although not a lot of information is known about the path the iceberg took or where it eventually parked itself, it is still remarkable to know the tallest iceberg in the world was 550 feet high. Number 1. Jakobshavn Glacier One of the best documented events in ice calving is the Jakobshavn Glacier calving, which was captured in 2012. Chasing Ice is a 2012 documentary film that published the effects of climate change. Photographer James Balog and his extreme ice survey team included scenes of the ice glacier breaking off in the 75-minute documentary. Chasing Ice is said to be the longest ice calving event to be captured on film. The two extreme ice survey videographers waited for several weeks in small tents to finally witness and document 1.8 cubic miles of ice breaking off the glacier. After decades of thinning and being the fastest flowing glacier in Greenland, scientists and glaciologists have confirmed that the Jakobshavn Glacier is on the path of growing due to a series of cooler temperatures of the years. But what makes the Jakobshavn Glacier even more extraordinary is the fact that it caused the unsinkable Titanic to ultimately sink and caused the ship's tragic demise. In the year 1912, a small chunk of an iceberg that initially calved off the Jakobshavn Glacier in Greenland made its way down the trail that eventually crossed paths with the Titanic, making it the most popular iceberg in history. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.